Hello ladies, my excellent girls. I am so so happy about each one of you and I recorded this video just to let you know that I appreciate every message that you sent yesterday on the page. Thank you for celebrating life with me. Thank you for allowing to be in my life and thank you for allowing me to, you know, annoy you, make you laugh, make you smile, make you cry. I don't know, but maybe heart you, love you, pray for you, teach you and, you know, mentor you most of all. Thank you so much. It is not uh, very common today that we get to trust other people with our minds and our hearts. But when you make such a decision, it means that you have really trusted and know that this person is going to take you somewhere. So I am grateful to be that person. And I can only tell you that we had everything planned well and, and slotted. And then we had to be separated by the lockdown. But I pray that very soon we shall be reunited to take on the good fight. Thank you for the work you've been doing for your life. I mean, in terms of finances and in terms of uh, ministry, in terms of family being useful at home. As girl children, we cannot run away from that. So I pray that uh, every blessing that you have done to accord to you or to be rewarded by those particular activities be given to you from the Lord. Now, uh, I'm not very good at making promises. I prefer to deliver than promise, but I want to give you or tell you something that is seemingly a promise. That uh, I will not leave, L-E-A-V-E, -E, until all your potentials are fulfilled. Okay? So do not leave. Do not run away. Uh, do not hide. Do not keep quiet. Do not... Uh, sit down and say I'm done no you're not yet done until we are all done all of us here you know me Jackie Esther Julianne Winnie Irene uh, uh, Rachel who else do we have Flavia you know the six of us you none of us can leave none of us can quit none of us can be done none of us can throw in the towel until we all agree that it is the right thing to do so until then, please don't hide. There is a sister in each one of us that you have. There is a friend in each one of us that you have. There is a confidant in each one of us that you have. And this little, you know, circle of friendship, this little mentorship class can be such a great deal for each one of us, okay? So I won't leave until all your petitions are fulfilled. Now, it's back to you to open up and let's handle these things of life as we keep moving forward just for the record I have lived longer than each one of you doesn't matter whether it's a second or an hour I have lived longer than each one of you and uh, we have had different walks of life you know I believe that I have so much to learn from you like I have already and I also know that there is so much for you to learn from me so we just need to build a trust between each other and say that I can resonate this issue with this person and they will help me. So do not die alone in life issues, doesn't matter what, reach out. If it is not something you can write on the group, please send me a message and I will definitely ask the Lord on how to help you and we will live together, okay? Now, just an exciting little thing that I need us to do. We haven't done so much together and I know that it's quite not very easy for someone to carry out a task alone, tell you, uh, do these vocal exercises or warm-ups on your own, wake up and jog, you know, eat well, do not drink cold stuff, reducing the sodas and, and uh, milk and all that stuff. It's very difficult. But I can tell you that uh, when we are together, we can accomplish so much. So send a voice note of your training on the group and let's hear it and let everyone give in their input that's one thing the second thing is during this lockdown i have been working with different people you know members of the choir some and others are from the youth ministry and others are from different maybe cell zones as they all came along and it's it's been a great experience and my heart went out to each one of you some have of you jackie julianne uh, rachel you know flavia have Winnie have gotten a chance of us working together during this lockdown. So Esther and Irene, 
Irene, at least you had a chance to work with the platform people, and I know that you learned something there, which is an amazing thing. So Esther, you need to wake up one of these days and uh, put yourself available for any you know program or schedule that Acquire has, just so we can get to work together and you don't miss out on time. By the time we get out of this uh, whole fire and heated up COVID situation, we should be better and much better than we were when we went there. I need you to shine, you know. When we return as a whole choir, I don't want you to be among the people that are rusted and have not learned anything, don't remember anything. Um, I'm, I need you to be on top of it. An example. Like, oh my goodness, where has Julianne been practicing from? Where has Jackie learned that? Where, when did Flavia learn the lyrics of all these songs? When did Esther get all these super alto notes together irene her soprano is great winnie oh my goodness she even had time to write music so things like that those are the comments that i need us to have not from only our fellow choir members but even the heavens to register that we have utilized the time well and have decided to grow each other uh during you know this time now <laughs> The third thing that I need us to do is each one of you had, uh, not really each one of you, I can say maybe Jackie didn't have that, but I need her to do this exercise as well. Each one of us is going to do that exercise. It's very exciting and interesting and it is something you're going to enjoy to do. It's going to sound very simple, but when you start to get your pens and pieces of paper or your phones to get to type it, it might not seem the most easiest thing, but here it is. Self-esteem is the birth or mother of confidence, okay? Not the low self-esteem, but the high self-esteem. So each one of us needs to build that, first of all. When you learn to believe in yourself, it's very easy for you to launch into anything. It doesn't matter what. You will not allow anything to be a stumbling block or anyone to actually tell you you cannot. So I need us to build a brag list, yes. A brag list. Have you ever heard about that? You know the way people have a bucket list? The names of places I want to go before I die. The things I want to do before I die. So I need us to have a brag list. Each one of you. There is an accomplishment you have had in this life from the time you were born. Okay, let's say from the time you started understanding up to right now. That thing. It might be in the choir. You can say maybe it only took me three months to join the worship team to minister on Sunday. That's something to brag about. Another thing, as simple as I have the most beautiful smile. Another thing could be, at my workplace, I helped my company do this or achieve this. It can be something even people say about you. You know, It might be things you believe that you are. It doesn't matter how many they are. I need us to list those things. Okay, So list those things down. Let's share them on the group. I'm giving us today is what, Thursday? Can we have a deadline of Sunday? So that by Sunday, everyone has thrown in their brag list. Um, and I am so excited. I can't wait to read it. doesn't matter. Don't care that uh, maybe Flavia is going to say she's beautiful. How can I also write I'm beautiful? No, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. So write that. I have a nice this. I am that. doesn't matter even if you say I'm the most charming person. I can make you smile. That is also something to brag about, you know. So things that you know, skills that you have, I can do this, I can make that. They are things for us to be very, very, very proud about and proud of. So the purpose of us writing that brag list is for us to really wake up to our abilities and say, oh my goodness, I did not know that. Even this, you know. So once we have written brag list from ourselves about our lives, we will then go ahead and list our expectations of ourselves from our brag lists. For example, if I say that I'm a good leader, okay, it's on my brag list. Then what is my expectation of me being a good leader? I can say maybe I expect to touch, let's say, a thousand lives before I die or before I leave. So I don't know when I'll leave. But then I have to work every day. If I have maybe a hundred days left, that means I have ten people every day that I need to impact. Then how am I going to impact them? 
But first, don't think about that. It might be a bigger task, which I will help you to do. But you need to give us a brag list, each one of you. Your life is not going to be the same. Let me tell you, by the end of you typing and submitting that brag list, you're going to be 10 feet taller than you are right now. And it will be a very great deal on your self-esteem. Among the things that you will have listed, if someone walked up to you and said you are not any of those things, you would never believe them. So think about every sphere of your life. Ministry, social, work, you know, your um, family life, whether married or still at home, in your family. Think about all those things and let's put it all together. So I am very, very worked up and inspired. Worked up, I mean, you know, ready. And uh, inspired by each one of you, your growth, your progress. You know, thank you so, so much for working so hard. And we need to work really hard. We can only stop working hard once we are placed in those caskets. But for as long as God has allowed us breath, let's work hard to better our lives. I need us to have a testimony down the road and say, I was inspired to become the woman that I am today. I don't have to be the one that inspires you. But find inspiration somewhere and share with us. Because we set out to be a small group of sisterhood and we need to leave none of us behind. But to keep moving forward together. I commit to that and uh, it's going to be my birthday gift to all of us <laughs> for all the years to come so for god allowing me more life i rent my life to serve you my girls my babies and anyone that the lord will bring into my path i love you and stay well cheers oh by the way sorry I did not tell you, I work from home for those of you that didn't know, so I'm home, this is home. <laughs> now you know where I live, so you don't have to say, Mama, we don't know where you live. <laughs> I'm home. That's for fun, but yes, I'm working from home, so I'm home. Alright, cheers, love you. I look forward to each one of your lists and God bless you.